Netanyahu defiant, saying we will stand alone after President Biden's threat to withhold U.S. weapons if there's a full-scale invasion of Rafa. And these tense talks over a ceasefire halted amid fury over Rafa, with so many hostages still being held by Hamas. Mary Bruce at the White House tonight. Tonight, as President Biden threatens to further withhold U.S. weapons from Israel, Prime Minister Netanyahu defiant. If we have to stand alone, we will stand alone, he said today, firing back after Biden, in his most direct warning yet, said the U.S. would not provide Israel with weapons to attack Rafa. I've made it clear to Bibi and the War Cabinet they're not going to get our support if, in fact, they go in these population centers. It comes after the president has warned Netanyahu for weeks not to invade Rafah, where more than a million civilians are seeking refuge. But those warnings have been ignored. Netanyahu already launching what he says are limited operations inside Rafah, choking critical humanitarian aid. Biden already halting the shipment of 3,500 U.S. bombs, fearing American weapons could be used to kill more innocent Palestinians. Tonight, many Republicans now accusing Biden of abandoning a critical ally, including Donald Trump, who today repeated an anti-Semitic trope questioning Jewish voters who stand by the president. If any Jewish person voted for Joe Biden, they should be ashamed of themselves. He's uh, totally abandoned Israel. The Biden campaign quick to condemn those comments as the president insists U.S. support for Israel's defense remains ironclad. Now, the president says the U.S. will continue to provide for Israel's defense, even as he threatens to halt sending offensive weapons to them. And tonight, those ceasefire talks are now stalled. The sticking point, we're told, is Rafah. Israel insisting that any temporary ceasefire deal exclude their operations, what they say is a Hamas stronghold. David. All right, Mary Bruce at the White House tonight. Mary, thank you.